It uh, was written by Sonny Hancock, who was on the Eastern Oregon, part of the Great Basin. I traded for a horse one time. He wouldn't take no beauty prize, just a great big long gear blue roan gilding. Not too bad for weight and size. Now I had to ride some tough old circles, and this trader guaranteed that this horse would show me lots of country and not need too much rest or feed. He said, now this ain't no kid's horse, but he'll pack you up the creek. He will hop up on some occasions, and he has been known to kick. Now I wouldn't trade him to just anyone without feeling some remorse, but if you're a sure enough cowpuncher, mister, this is your kind of horse. Well, I stepped upon the horse next morning. He began to buck and ball. Now that trader maybe hadn't lied none, but he hadn't told it all, because we sure tore up the country where he threw that equine fit. I was running out of handholds by the time he finally quit. I guess that sort of set a pattern. Things just never seemed to change. Oh, I showed him lots of country every corner of the range, but every time I rode that bugger, man, he kept me sitting tight. I knew I'd have to make at least three bronc rides before he'd pack me home at night. Which would have been okay with lots of horses that I know, but this old pony had my number. I just barely got him rode. And the thing that really spooked me and put a damper in my pride was that he was learning how to buck faster than I was learning how to ride. <laughs> well, I rode into the camp one evening, it's getting pretty late. And there's this gray horse in the corral and a saddle there by the gate. I looked that gray horse over and I sure liked what I seen. And this kid showed up from around the barn. He looked to be about 16. He said he lamed that gray that morning coming down off granite grade and he wondered if I had a horse I'd maybe like to trade. He said he didn't have the time to stop and rest and let him heal. So since beggars can't be choosy, he'd take most any kind of deal. Well, when it comes to trading horses, why most anything is fair, so I traded him that blue roan horse for that gray horse that in there. Then my conscience got to hurting when I thought of what I did to trade a fly-blown dink like that off to a little wet-nosed kid. So next morning after breakfast, I tells him, listen, lad, if you want to know the truth, that trade to me last night was bad. That blue horse, he's a bad one. Bad as any horse you'll see, he'll strike, he'll kick, he'll stampede, he's a sorry SOB. It's all I can do to ride him and to tell it to you straight. I think you'd be awful lucky just to ride him past the gate. Now I've got two or three old horses out there in that saddle bunch. They ain't got too much going for them. But I kind of got a hunch they'll get you where you're going if you just don't crowd, crowd them none. But damn, I hate to see you ride that blue roan booger, son. Well, he said, I told you there last night I'd take most any kind of trade, and I appreciate you telling me the bad mistake I made. But my old daddy told me when you're trading, no matter how you feel, even if you take a whooping, a deal is still a deal. You say he's got lots of travel and he's not too bad for speed. Well, sir, I'm kind of in a tight, and that's exactly what I need. I traded for him fair and square, and damn his blue roan hide when I ride out here this morning. That's the horse I'm going to ride. Well, I watched him cinching up his saddle, and he pulled his hat way down, and he stepped up in that rigging like he was riding off to town. He put both spurs up in the shoulders and sent that blue roan hair up flying, and tipped his head way back and screamed just like a hungry mountain lion. Well, I've heard lots of stories about that bucking horse ballet. I've heard of poetry in motion, but the ride I seen that day just plumb defied description, though I still can see it plain, like it happened in slow motion and was branded on my brain. I don't think I could explain it to you even if I tried. The only thing that I can say is by the saints that kid could ride. He sat up on there all relaxed like he was lying home in bed, and every jump that pony took, the kid was half a jump ahead. When it was over, I decided I could learn a few things still, and I told him, son, I'm sorry I misjudged your riding skill. He said, shucks, that's okay, mister, as he started on his way. But if you think this horse can buck, don't put your saddle on that gray. Sunny <laughs> Hancock.